Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, the Lord of the Rings mod, Realms in Exile, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I'm Lord Forend, and we are broke. Basically. We don't have any income because of our events that destroyed our huge mine in Isengard, which we lost. Um... We theoretically could start raiding Aragorn's territory, which would get us money. I'm just wary of the fact that he could raise an immense army to squash us like a bug. So, let's raid this guy's territory. I think I should be able to do it mainly just with men-at-arms. We'll see, let's see. No, I'm not able to do it with just men at arms, but there is some decent loot in the area if I'm willing to go deep into the enemy territory here. Huh. We infuriated him. We could become obsessed with vengeance. Eh. Okay, I got a friend. That's nice. We don't have to deal with stress, thankfully, really. We can get a lot of money from raiding. We just need to actually complete the raid in such a timely fashion. It actually balances out how much time we're spending raiding. Yeah, see, there's not that much. There's not a lot of good loot out there. I don't know. I gotta get back to my territory. Helps if I actually get back to my lands. Yeah, see, Aragorn is hunting us now. Because I raided a single province of his lands. So, there goes my army. I mean, we did make some money out of it, but that reaction was... severe. <laughs> hmm. How do I make more money? Well, let's up our Crown Authority Law. I need to find a way to get Rohan, basically. So that I don't have this non de jure land problem. It's like this guy isn't paying us anything either, really. And hers is almost ignorable. So even though we did that raid, it really wasn't worth it because we lost our entire military. Thanks to Aragorn. All because I didn't notice that that was owned by Aragorn. Um... Kind of between a rock and a hard place at this point. We can't afford to cut our amenities. We can hold court, but... Refuses to convert. Even though we're getting grandeur, we just have no money. The loss of our mine there is devastating. I mean, I'm going to keep trying to raise as many armies of the dead when I can, because that's right now out oh, we failed. It's a good portion of our income. I'd love to raid Galadriel's lands. The wealth in there is... Oh, apparently it's been recently looted, though. Huh. Um, no loot, no loot. A uh, little bit of loot. No loot. 
The problem is the AI is too good at raiding, I think. As in, as soon as a place is off being done raiding, they're back. Which means there's no opportunity for me to scoot in and loot anything. Hmm. I don't know what to do here, but I do know I need to get rid of that corruption in Isengard. Okay, that's 300 gold. I guess we better do an income upgrade. It's going to take us forever to rebuild Orthonk, though. I mean, we have a lot of modifiers to our income, but... No, we're not going to try and murder our own subject. No, thank you. Okay. Got a modifier. This would be very useful. Reduced friendly casualties. If I can get some more money coming in, which would be invaluable, then I think we need to um, switch to a martial tree, but... We're just... We're too weak to fight Gondor. Sauron is more fightable, but still, we don't border him. I mean, I could theoretically try colonizing my way towards his lands, but I don't know if we want to risk it yet. Slums constructed in Isengard. Eh. Someone wants to go on a mission. Ah, that never goes well for us. We could do artifact crafting. I guess? I don't know if we can afford anything. Yeah, we have no... We have no metals. I'd have to, like, buy some? I mean, Balin's Expedition still exists, which is interesting. Let's create an Accolade, at least, if we can. Um, create Accolade. Create another Accolade. I can create more. Well, I guess I should create more then. I don't know how much that's going to help me. But it might. Oh good, some money. I need to save to usurp the kingdom of... To create the title Kingdom of Rohan. This has got to be the most broke I've ever been in this mod. I'd love to do some raiding, but... There is no loot to be raided. Now there's a little bit of loot there. Let's try a raid. It's about all the options I've got right now. See if I can get anything good. No. Look, we got a plague somewhere in our lands. Not a huge issue for us. Our banner is now illustrious. That's convenient to get. Okay, we can get some more loot there. So long as we don't go into Rohan, we might make some money. There's nine there. Six there and one there. Okay. Back to my lands. 
Okay, we got some cash out of that. Not what I really want, but... Not really sure where else we could raid. I mean, suppose I could try raiding Golgul Doer's lands, but... It kind of looks like they're not that valuable. Well, they're more valuable than I think. They've, of course, been raided to death as well. I don't really know where to go for money. I mean, this area looks pretty well pillaged. There's a lot of loot out there, though. There's quite, a, there's quite an adventure to go on for loot, though. Uh, I suppose it's worth it. 8,000. We can loot some of their big cities out here. We can make some serious cash. It's just the amount of time it takes for us to get there is a problem. Trade deals. I'll take that. I just got to be careful that I don't get bogged down so that their army catches me. They're fighting Dale, so I've got an a moment of opportunity here to do some raiding. And we are fairly fast. Small benefits, I guess. Ah! Got too greedy. Bother. We lost all of that. And we lost our military again. Gosh. Their, their paranoia about players is excessive, I have to say, sometimes. I should have left when I had 100, I guess. Let's see. What can we do here? All we're getting is legitimacy. Doesn't really help. I mean, Orthonk is getting developed, but not fast enough. Well, I knew it was going to be a hard run when I picked Saruman, but this is... That one event, it is not worth going for that third level, apparently. And we need 130 more gold. Then we can actually exploit Rohan. Oh, we got sorcery. Let's do another... Raise the dead. Gaze into the palantir. Plant here. Failure, 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 failure. We got one perk out of it. Uh, never back down. Then I think we want to go down Strategist. Speaking of which, did we ever get rid of the... negative modifier we had on our men at arms? I think it's been more than 25 years. Uh, that would be heavy infantry. Do we have any? Okay, I think we did. Hmm... I could upgrade that, but we really need the money. Okay, that helps a bit. Thank you. I need some more of those. Um, terrified Vassal up wouldn't be bad. Okay, let's work on... Let's work on glory, even though the marriage acceptance is useless. Because this gives us a t discount to mercenaries. If we upgrade Orthonk two levels, we get 20% off mercenaries. So that could be 30% off mercenaries. They're all so expensive, though. At least Dunland is fairly loyal.
even if we make no money from them. Okay, our court grandeur is now really high. But I don't think we can safely take it off now. Hmm. Sorry, this is quite a puzzle to my mind, trying to figure out what we should be doing. Because the longer we wait, the more powerful our enemies are getting. But as soon as I poke my nose out of my own land, I'm getting swamped by uh, stronger armies. I mean, I could try raiding Aragorn's border, or like take one and then run, one and then run, but he's just going to chase me. Let's give it a try, I guess. We just have to be quick and efficient, I guess. Keep doing stuff like that. Run out, raid one, run away. Raid two and run away. Okay, we have enough to get Rohan. Okay, so now we should make some more money from our subjects. It's not going to be a lot, but it should be something. Run away, run away, run away. Disband. Okay. That's the solution, I guess. Just constantly little raids on Aragorn. And maybe tiny little raids on... Lorien, maybe? There is some decent loot up there, but it's not that good. At least now we should be making some money from these guys. Yeah, it's not much, but it's better than what we had. To get that would cost a lot. Maybe we should conquer these guys. Can I vassalize them? I doubt it. No. Protectorate. Oh, there's Aragorn. Ah. Aragorn's blocking me from doing most things. Although these rated modifiers should be expiring fairly soon. All my lords are pretty incompetent at their jobs. Ravage the lands. Spend money to make money, right? A lot of these guys don't even deliver me any money because of how bad their incomes are. Mm. Oh, this guy broke free, it looks like. What? How is the cult of... This guy follows the cult of Gundabad. Interesting. Not sure how he managed to take over that land. Someone's got too many protectorates. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I mean, I could raid that for a little bit of land and, and money. I can always raid these for some cash. I think I've raided as much as I can of Aragorn's heartlands for the moment.
Oh wait, I raised this army. Disband. I want local raiders. There we go. Helps if you don't screw up by trying to do the wrong thing. Be nice if I could have my army raised without losing cash, but I think we're gonna have to get up. Oh, there we go. Aragorn has declared war on us. That's gonna be death. I think we're gonna lose. I think we're gonna lose. Unless I pull off something miraculous here. Um. Theoretically, we've got better men at arms than Aragorn at this point, I suspect, but that doesn't usually make a difference. Nope, he's got guards of the citadels and outriders. Okay, let's move to here. Let's raise the holy order. It's not that good, but it's more troops. Pull them all together and hopefully we can pull something off. Because he's just doing a holy war to get at all. Hmm. Fifteen thousand. He's got twenty-eight thousand. I have level two troops. He's got higher levels. Can't really fight him. I can't really fight him, and apparently, I can't really siege these things down either. Oh, he lost some troops there. Collect war taxes, hold court. Two hundred fifty gold. Hmm. Well, we have some decent counter units, but if we never fight him, we can't really win. To base the coinage. Better. Hopefully taking one of these helps a little bit. I have no one I can call for aid. I can't get Mordor to help. Offering peace, the only thing he'll take is a pure surrender. And there's no way if Aragorn takes Rohan, I'm ever going to liberate it from him. He's got far too many troops. Maybe we can hide out across a fort or something and trick him to attack me? What's my leader got? He's an aggressive attacker. Hmm. We might have a chance there. Let's try and gaze into the plants here again. Okay, that's stewardship. That's decent. Do I have any dread? I do have dread. Okay. Cheaper maintenance of men at arms. Nothing else there. As soon as I move up, he moves away. Oh, and now he's coming for my head. Um, cross the ford. 
Nope, too late. There we go. And we're going to lose the war. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this run at this point. Far too strong. Far too strong. There is nothing we can do at the moment. I just don't have the capacity cap capabilities to fight him. I might have done better if I hadn't lost the deep mine, but we did, and here he comes again to kill me. Um, I just do not see how we are meant to fight him. 20 and a 9. I don't see anything that's going to give us an advantage. He's just got too many troops, is the reality. And look at that supply limit. He's, he's been occupying my lands for half a year, and he, he hasn't lost any supply. He's losing troops, but not at a rate that's sustainable for me to hope to fight him. I, I don't even know if I could beat one of those armies, let alone all of them. I mean, try to assassinate Aragorn? No option there. I'm going to keep declining Sauron's invitations to duel. I'm starving in my own land, but guess what? Yeah, it doesn't take those penalties. This could be very useful, Sauron, if you were to attack him now. Okay, well, we got one of his armies. Not that that helped much. We don't even siege as fast as he does. Oh, and he's hunting me again. Run away. You can always tell when the AI is coming for your head, though, because they actually leave their locations. Um... Don't see... I don't see anything where we can defend, really. Only option I might have is to hold out in Dunharrow. Where the size of his army doesn't matter, but... He's leading the army personally. His stats are unreal. Holy warrior, flexible leader, strategist, gallants. We killed 5,000 units. We lost 5,000. He only lost 1,000. Yes, that's ridiculously annoying. There we go. I lost it all. We're now back to Isengard. And there's no way we're going to recover. So, that's it. Three episodes, we lose. The mistake was going for the third level of the... Um, Minds of Isengard. Okay. Well, thank you guys all for watching this. Sorry it didn't go very well, but I burned off a little of my frustration about losing the last series. So, um, where to go next? Honestly, I'm thinking of running a campaign with these guys down here. The only black Numenorians, just for the fun of us. They're ridiculously hard, but honestly, I think they're easier than Saruman. So, see you guys all next time. Bye for now.